Hi guys and welcome to The Career Show. I'm Saeed Mohammed, partner at Apply For You and I'm joined by... Ifan Hussain, founder of Apply For You. So Apply For You is basically a job board uh, which uh, Ifan started off 10 years ago now. It is, yeah. Right? And we have basically won 12 awards uh, in, that, in that sort of time as well mm -hmm. for being one of the most helpful job boards in the country at the moment. Um, we've been working in recruitment ourselves individually for roughly about 15 years. Yeah, yeah 15 you know? years. And throughout that time, we have seen a lot of things and experienced many, many <laughs> uh, untellable stories, as they say, you know, uh, with some unique scenarios. So we're here today to basically try and uh, impart some of the little knowledge that we have yep. gained over the last 15 years to help you in your job search. In the last episode, we spoke about the first step in the job search process, how to know yourself. If you haven't watched that yet, I would suggest that you definitely go online um, and find it and watch it because mm -hmm. that is very important to the entire process of finding a job. Today, we're going to be talking about the job search itself. Yep. You know, Finding a job is a job. It is, it's a job, a job. in itself. Eh? It is a job in mm -hmm. itself, you know. And I think we know from our own experiences mm -hmm. and from what we've uh, seen other candidates do and from the candidates that we represent mm -hmm. as well, how difficult it really can be. It is. I mean, look, it's so difficult, Said, that a lot of people leave their job to, to spend time job. of finding a job. Yes. I would never recommend that, by the way. Bad um, mistake. Yeah, it is a big mistake because obviously if you've got mortgages to pay or bills to pay, yeah. you don't want to be out of a job. Uh, looking for a new job, although it is a job in itself. So, it and um, also uh, potential employers do look negatively at that. They do. That why have you left a job? Is it A, that you're covering that you got fired? B, mm -hmm. that you know you just couldn't work there? And if you couldn't work there, then why weren't you strong enough to take it? You know, If you're in a job, it's like London buses. When you're already in a job, you know, you'll get more and more offers yep. coming. Now, it is difficult. If you are going to do your job search 100% yourself, yep. it is difficult, especially without um, you know any preparation and knowing which type of jobs to apply for. It is a job in itself, and that's why our service apply for you, other job boards, agencies, etc., add value in the job search process. Yes, they, they certainly do, you know. So, what is the first step? in searching or finding the right job for you? Well, first and foremost, decide exactly what you want to do. Yep, which jobs am I trying to apply for? Exactly. Um, and go for the ace of spades, hey? Yeah, go for the go top. Go for that dream job, the mm. job that you really want. That should be the first job that you apply for. Yes. And really persist at it. Don't just apply to one job and you mm. get a, a negative feedback yeah. or you don't hear anything back and then stop. No, if you're, if you're finding your job, really go for it. Definitely. Dig deep. Hundreds of applications. Don't stop at that first hurdle. So there, there, there are three main ways of job searching. Mm -hmm. Okay, One is doing it yourself. Second one is by putting your CV up on, um, like, for example, uh, our site apply for mm -hmm. you or CV library or mm -hmm. even Total Jobs, one, mm -hmm. of, one of these websites. Mm -hmm. And the third way is by using a recruitment agency. And all three methods, okay, you can't just sit there and say that only do uh, method one or method three. No, it has to be a combination of all three. I'm not sure if it has to be, Said. You get the better results, though. Yeah, let's I mean, look, let's not let's not try to um, think that it's going to be. You know, you have to do so much. Finding a job doesn't need to be that difficult. If you've yep. done your research and you know what job you want to get into, it shouldn't really be that hard. As long as you are good, mm -hmm. you give your best points like we discussed in the last show, uh, you know why you're a good employee for that business. Mm -hmm. But um, would you agree, okay, that by combining all three, you've got a much better chance? Yeah, no, yeah. There's no harm. There's, there's no, no harm, harm in that. The more, and you know, the more exactly. people trying to fight your corner or fight you know, for you, yeah. Yeah, the better. Exactly. And the idea I don't is... want people to get overwhelmed thinking <laughs> they have to do A, B and C. Um, Not at all. With us presenting, how can they? You know? <laughs> um, and the idea is that in this episode, what we're going to do is to uh, tell you the best methods on how to utilise each of these methods okay, to get the best yep. outcome possible. You know? Obviously, part of the job search, the massive part is your CV, mm -hmm. uh, which we're going to go into uh, more detail with the next episode. Yep. So let's start off first and foremost, okay, by method number one, mm -hmm. doing it yourself. Okay, so when you're doing it yourself, the first thing is everyone loves to cut a shortcut, hey? Yeah. Or take the shortcut, definitely. Saeed. So why not look at people that you know that are doing the job that you're yeah. doing, that you want to do? Friends, family, yeah. colleagues, uh, you know, anyone that you can think of um, that would be in that company or doing yeah. that job and use that network. Why not? Absolutely. You know, without if you get someone referring you to their boss and, you know, you get the job, 
Mm -hmm. It's quick. It's easy. It doesn't cost the employer anything. Um, and you, and and you, you get go a good get, reference and, as well. And you end up working with your mate, which is, which is not <laughs> bad, eh? Which can't be bad, <laughs> without a doubt. So use your social circle, use your friends, your family, mm -hmm. get uh, uh, referrals and get introductions made. Yep. The other point as well to utilize is social media. Now, social Definitely. media is 100% uh, undervalued. Now, we um, talk about, for example, Facebook, right? Let's talk about Facebook. There are two main platforms, Facebook and LinkedIn, okay? Mm -hmm. We all know about LinkedIn, but we're going to go into more detail about oh, that in a little to, bit. Yeah. But Facebook, I firmly believe, is very undervalued. I mean, I could tell you now that early on in uh, my career, we didn't have Facebook, but we had something called High Five. I don't know if you remember that. It's similar to Facebook. I think that was the first one, isn't it? One MySpace was the second or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. and I remember that uh, part-time job was actually advertised on High Five. You know, some guy was like, oh, my, uh, my shop is looking for people. And from there, I actually mm -hmm. just went, found the shop, walked in and got it. And since then, you know, I got the social media bug. Yeah. Now, with the extensive reach that Facebook has, okay, with the leaps in technology and the users out there, finding a job on Facebook is actually really, really easy. Now, on Facebook, are you going to get the most professional investment banking type of law firm jobs? Well, probably not. But you will definitely get a, a very good introductions and very good leads from them, okay? Mm -hmm. LinkedIn. Yeah, Sorry, I mean, you want to say something yeah, I just want no, not really on Facebook. I think the first one we've got to talk about is LinkedIn. 100%. I'm not going to, I'm not going to deny Facebook is uh, a great tool and definitely yep. have the presence on there. But if you're looking for a job, especially within professional services, have a LinkedIn profile. Without a doubt, which was what we were leading on to mm -hmm. here. Now, look, LinkedIn. Okay, um, I know I've spoken to many candidates, many job seekers that all of a sudden uh, say that, oh my God, LinkedIn. I don't know what it's about. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. um, in fact, we were having this conversation just before we started filming with exactly. with uh, with somebody that we're not going to mention who's in, in, <laughs> in the studio here today, who said exactly the same thing. Like, oh my God, I yeah. don't have a LinkedIn account. Well, why not? You have extensive experience, mm -hmm. you know. You are very accomplished in what you do. You need to be putting your profile out there. Yep. What is LinkedIn? LinkedIn is basically a digital um, uh, copy of your CV. It is, yeah. It's about you. It's your opportunity to sing and dance about your accomplishments, mm -hmm. who you are, what you've done, and more importantly, what you want to do. Yep. Now, LinkedIn uh, is something that you can utilize in many different ways. You can simply put a post out saying, I am looking for a job. Mm -hmm. Okay, if your LinkedIn profile is written really, really well, okay, you will get other agencies or even direct employers mm -hmm. contacting you, trying to headhunt you, saying, Hey, yep. we've seen your profile, we like what you're doing, you know, uh, we want to talk about that. Now, how do you actually set up a LinkedIn profile? What should you write on it? Any ideas? Well, the first thing is your CV. So they're going to ask you what university you went to, what subject you studied, where you've worked, uh, what you did there, mm. the time periods that you were there. So it's basically your online CV, exactly how you said. Um, and then the good thing which I love about LinkedIn is you can get people to give you recommendations yes, and references. So uh, I've got people's recommendations from 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Um, and it's By the way, you still need to write me you. one. You haven't Do written I, me one sure? yet. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. So wait for you to write me one. Um, but you know, it's great because that stays with you. So it's your yep. digital CV. It's not just for when you're job searching. When people, I mean, I've had people come to me saying for advice, helping them set up a business, um, yep. or a variety of reasons. Um, Absolutely. So it's not just for when you are job searching. Mm. It's also good just for business. And it is just just to sorry before you um, bring in your point. It is a professional network. It is indeed. It so is. no selfies, no friends, partying, pictures and all the rest. That's a huge no-no for LinkedIn. Yeah. Keep I that mean, to Facebook. Just to give you an example, just to sort of digress slightly, okay? What would ha what Normally what happens behind the scenes, and this is something that we employ uh, ourselves, and I know that a lot of other employers utilize as well. When an application is put forward, okay, i.e. your CV or your LinkedIn profile, the first thing that I personally do mm -hmm. is I go and I check out your Instagram, mm -hmm. your Snapchat, and your Facebook. And, and every, your every company does that now. Exactly. And it has been, become the norm. Yeah, yeah. You know? and there's been job offers pulled because they've looked at their Facebook and they see that he's a party animal. Or, for, yeah, for a number of reasons, yeah. right? So just so be careful. Be careful, exactly. You know, yeah. obviously when it's out in the uh, Twitter sphere, you know, you can't really take it back. Now, when we're mm -hmm. talking about LinkedIn profile, what makes a LinkedIn profile attractive to potential employees? What would really make it stand out? The first thing is having a picture of you mm 
Mm -hmm. Smiling. Not just any picture, yeah, out in the nightclub. All right, mate, you know, a little <laughs> selfie there. No. We're talking about a professional picture, okay? Somewhere where you're smartly dressed, mm -hmm. somewhere where you have a smile, okay? Yeah. Where you look welcoming, number one. You can either choose black and white or color. And believe it or not, you know, I mean, people, I was, I was speaking to a candidate uh, a mm -hmm. couple of months ago, and he's like, well, Sai, does it really make a difference? Well, yes, it does. Of course it does. Yeah, All yeah. of these things make a massive difference. It's this, a bit like going on eBay and looking at a product. You're about to buy a laptop, yeah. but there's no picture off that laptop or something exactly. like that. Exactly. How are so. you going to buy it, you know? Yeah. The second thing, <clears throat> and this is vitally important, is your summary. Okay, on LinkedIn, you have a mm -hmm. summary of yourself, who you are. Keep it short, keep it sharp, keep it snappy. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a job, give a little introduction <coughs> to you about yourself, you know, yep. uh, who you are, what you've done, and then follow on by what you want to do. Mm -hmm. what, what you're doing right what now. What you're doing yeah. right now, you know, with some of your main USPs. Maybe put some achievements down there. Mm -hmm. It is basically like an executive summary, you know. Yep. If it's a whole essay, trust me, I will click away. You know, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll just move on to the next profile straight away. The third thing, going to... Not too much detail, but good detail about the previous experiences that you've had, as well as your education. Highlight any achievements that you've had there as well. And LinkedIn actually has a section where you can put down your achievements, okay? Mm -hmm. um, you mentioned earlier on about uh, referrals and references, yep. you know, people write recommendations. Beautiful, okay? People that you're working with, your colleagues, mm -hmm. you can get them to write a recommendation, what it's like to work with you. Any members of your team that you manage, for example, mm -hmm. they can write a recommendation, what you like as a manager. Yep. Your managers will write a recommendation, what it's like to manage mm -hmm. you, you know, your clients, what it's like to work with you, you yep. know. Anyone that you're in contact with in your professional life can write a, a, write a recommendation yeah. about you. Another um, aspect as well is of LinkedIn, which is really, really key, mm -hmm. and I do feel that sometimes it's a bit undervalued, are, is the skill section. Endorsing someone. Endorsing yeah. someone. You can go there and you can say, for example, I'm good at Microsoft Word. Mm -hmm. I am good with Java or .NET programming or, you know, QA. And what people can do, clients, colleagues, friends, whatever, can mm -hmm. go there and click the tick button. And what that means is that they have just suddenly endorsed you for that one particular that skill set. That you're actually set. good at that skill or they've worked with you on that skill. So it is, it, yeah, well, some it's, great as long as it's proven. You yeah, know? there's some great functions and you can really utilize that. Um, and I think once you get your profile up and running, yep. make sure you then add your friends, your colleagues, your family, Definitely. pretty much anyone that's going to accept you. So you build your network because it all works on the networks that you have and the exactly. connections. So do you want to just explain a little bit about how the connections work the first second? Absolutely. Episode? So um, you've got your profile. It's looking really nice and pretty. And what's the word? Dapper? You know, I think <laughs> yeah. that's what the kids are using nowadays, that <laughs> dapper phrase. I don't know any of all, all these new uh, modern phrases, right? But it's looking dapper. It's looking cool. What do you do then? You have to, have to, okay, engage uh, with everyone around you so for example you go on to linkedin right and you like something that like is going to be seen by your entire network and mm -hmm. their network up to two connections out as well so first and foremost okay be careful on what you're liking for example if you're going there and you're liking something totally politically incorrect bear in mind your friends and family will be able mm -hmm. to see that your potential employers as well as your work colleagues will also be able to see that as mm -hmm. well so be careful on what you're liking okay secondly engage uh, comment on posts start up discussions put out uh, regular posts yourself as well because the more engaging you are and the more you are um, uh, talking to people and uh, uh, joining in with group discussions you'll find that the more your profile will get viewed mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. Okay. Also, um, use messaging. You know, for example, if you have somebody who's in a similar sort of sector to yourself mm -hmm. or a sector that you want to get into, drop the message. Hi, mm -hmm. Mr. So and So. We don't know each other, but I know that you're experienced in this sector, and I'm looking to get into this sector. Yeah. Do you mind if I was to pick your brains? For example, no, of course, and LinkedIn look, it's a great tool, and you can, you know, once you start playing around with it, you will see that it is a great tool, vehicle, yes. mechanism to be able to find a job. Without you know? a doubt. So a lot of people don't use it enough. Um, and if you're not, get on it. Without a doubt. I mean, LinkedIn also now has the feature where you can apply for jobs directly yeah, on LinkedIn jobs by on using there. a profile, yeah. you know. Now, as good as LinkedIn is, and trust me, as, as humans, we, we have the tendency to maybe over-exaggerate certain mm -hmm. elements of our achievements. Bear in mind that your CV has to match exactly with your LinkedIn yep. profile. Do not let there be any discrepancies in between the two. Because when you get to interview stage, I guarantee you and I promise you, you will they be will pulled up it. on that, yep. you know? And at that point you'll be like, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. see you later, mate. 
get out, okay? You don't want to get into that situation. So that's point number one. The second aspect of searching for a job, um, let's talk about recruitment agencies, you know? Yeah, recruitment agencies have their place and recruitment agencies are great. The mm -hmm. good thing with recruitment agencies is they will do a lot of the legwork for you. They will. Yeah. They will indeed. Uh, they will put you in front of, especially if you've got experience, yeah? Or, I mean, even, even for graduates, there's a lot of agencies out there. Just bear in mind with an agency that they are going to be charging your employer a fee. A fee. So there are, they will be selective in the jobs that they have. Yep. They will push you towards those jobs. There's nothing wrong with that. They've got to make a living also. They do indeed. Uh, but don't put all your eggs in that basket because they may not have the job that you're looking for. That Absolutely. dream job that we said to go for, they may not have it. Absolutely. So really do your research. Get your CV out to the right agencies if you're using agencies. Mm. And they are, they are good. Uh, and there are good and bad ones. So make sure you choose a good one. Yep. Um, do your research. There's a lot of ways that you can do that now. Again, using LinkedIn and other tools. Uh, Glassdoor is another good website just to yeah, check the employers which, to, to check the employers yeah. and also the agencies on how good they are Without you'll see doubt. reviews about the company so do look at those um, I mean, we, uh, I mean we, we run an agency as well called Harrison's Recruitment we do, you know? yeah. and we specialise in a sector called Rec to Rec now mm -hmm. I know this, this may sound a bit funny now but <laughs> it's a niche within a niche it, it, niche within a niche so basically what Rec to Rec is is recruiting recruitment consultants for other recruitment agencies. Yeah. So we recruit the recruiters, black the black and yeah. sell to the salespeople, you know. Yeah, it's like selling ice to an Eskimo. <laughs> exactly, you know, they got tons of it, right. But it is a niche nonetheless, and we have been doing that mm -hmm. for the last 10 years. Yep. Now, one thing that we've um, experienced, okay, both from both sides of the fence, from the side, uh, side of the fence where we've been a job seeker, and from the agency side, okay, is the biggest challenge that we have is communication. Guys, whichever agency you're working with, communicate with them yeah okay um tell them everything honestly at the end of the day you are there wayne rooney they are your agents mm -hmm. it's not just in your best interest but also in their best interest to get you the best yep. job and package possible because they wanna, yeah. they're going to make a good commission exactly off it. they want to get you a job they're making money Without you're a getting doubt. a job it's like a win-win scenario win -win. now uh, some a lot of people have the major complaints that i could register with an agency and never got a call back well yep. you know what there are so many candidates that are looking for jobs. Uh -huh. So if you haven't heard from your agent, okay, by the time that they've said that they're going to call you, mm -hmm. you know what, guys? Let's drop that pride. Let's just pick up that phone and give them a call. call them. Send them a text. Send them an email. Mm -hmm. What's happening? I haven't heard back from Try you. Try another agency. Exactly. Don't put all your eggs in one basket, like Saeed mentioned initially, to have uh, several different tools running. Without and doubt. once you've got out to a few agencies, once you've done your CV, once you've got your LinkedIn profile, also get it out on the job boards. Without a doubt. Right. Now, that is a very good lead into that as well, by the way, you know. And I think we need to spend a bit more time on this one particular thing because, let's be honest, we've built Apply For You up on... Mm -hmm this reason only the exactly, job board yeah. now what is a job board it is a simple website that allows you to put your cv up there now what happens behind the scenes you put your cv up on a job board uh -huh. okay a recruit mr recruiter will come along start scrolling through you know on the uh -huh. screen and suddenly see a cv there okay uh they'll read the cv make a decision uh -huh. yeah don't like it oh yeah wow pick up the phone and call uh -huh. you all right this is where uh, obviously your CV writing skills come into play and just your general writing skills uh -huh. uh, come into uh, play regardless. Now, what we've done with Apply For You is um, we've put it in a way where the website and um, the job board actually work for the candidate. Yeah. So it's not a case that you're just simply putting your CV up there and if somebody sees it, it's all well and good. Well, no, mm -hmm. we will actually pre-screen you. Uh, employers and agencies have the opportunity to see your profile first. In mm -hmm. fact, um, if you remember six months ago, we done this uh, research assignment. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we found is that 65% of candidates that have registered on Apply For You have actually, you know, had the profile views and have had uh, gone on to have successful interviews, right? Yep. So, why don't you talk us through a little bit about why we've won so many awards and how mm -hmm. people can utilize uh, a job board yep. to enhance their so, chances? Just on that point, obviously, job boards have their place. Make sure once you've done your CV, you get it up on as you know, apply for you total jobs, read CV, CV library. library. You know, those yeah. are the good job boards that's worth getting your CV uploaded on. Yes. Now, it's not just to upload your CV on those sites. Also, search and apply for jobs yes okay indeed. and apply for many jobs don't just apply for one job and you know get get disheartened if you don't hear anything back apply for hundreds of jobs set up job alerts you when you set up a job alert is basically when you set up a job alert you'll get emailed jobs that are matching 
the alert that you set up. Yep. So you'll receive those email, uh, emails with jobs that are matching that criteria straight into your inbox. Simply grab on your phone or your laptop and start applying. Don't that stop that? at the first hurdle. Now, just answering your question, Saeed, uh, what, is a, what is Apply For You doing? Why have we won awards and why are we so different? Mm. We set Apply For You, and obviously, as you know, we set up Apply For You to be a, in between an agency and a job, job board. board. So a job board, you have to do it all yourself. You have to search and apply to jobs mm. yourself. An agency, you sit back, you let the employer, you let the agency do it. The agency is getting a fee. Companies don't really want to use an agency. Yeah. Hence why Apply For You is set up. So you put your CV up on Apply For You, you can call us, you can speak to us. We're the only job board in the world they where can you can to. speak to, okay? We will help you get a free review. Yep. We will help you search and apply to relevant jobs and we will help you find the best job out there. Absolutely. Okay. And best of all, your employer is not going to be paying us an agency fee. They will simply subscribe to our packages, which are monthly subscriptions, and they get you at a lower cost. Absolutely. Now, you've applied for 100 jobs, mm -hmm. okay? Not heard a single thing back. Mm -hmm. Do you just sit back and not call them? No. You chase up. For example, if you're yep. working with us at Apply For You, you give us a call. We will help you chase up mm -hmm. those leads. If mm -hmm. you're working with, for example, C uh, if you put your CV up in CV Library, Total Jobs, and applied for jobs through there, mm -hmm. you know the companies that you're applying for. Yep. Call them. It's easy. It's easy. Google them. Mm -hmm. Get the number. I sent you an application. Yep. What's happening? In fact, you know what? We could take it one step further. I, it doesn't matter what sector you're in, whatever you're doing. Mm -hmm. As soon as you send that application, okay, all you have to do then is wait maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, call up the company, or maybe even an hour. Yep. Say, listen, just to let you know, I've sent you an application. Can I just make sure that you've got it? Yeah. All of a sudden, you're on the radar. Just to back that up, Said, I've had people, as you know, I've had people call me, and even without looking at their CV, I've invited them in for an interview. Exactly. Because you're not know, picking up the phone, showing that you are that confident, showing that you are that ambitious, yep. and you have that belief that, hey, I sent you my CV. How come you haven't called me? It's yep. worth its weight in gold. So make sure you pick up the phone. Don't be shy. This is your job search. What's the worst that's going to happen? You are not going to get a job that you really don't have. Exactly. So what, what have you lost? Exactly. Absolutely nothing. So be confident. Have the belief. Pick up the phone. Chase up everyone. And get yourself that job that you really want. So just to recap, okay. Mm -hmm. When you're searching for a job, it is a job itself, you know, when you are trying to find a job. Three main points, okay, that we need mm -hmm. to look at is if you're doing it yourself, you know, ask for referrals from friends and family, mm -hmm. use social media, LinkedIn, yep. the Facebooks, put it out there. Make sure your LinkedIn profile is matching what your CV is mm -hmm. doing. The second one was uh, using agencies. Make sure you have good open communication with the yep. agent that you're working with. Be open, be honest with them. You know, try and work around the interviews and that's mm -hmm. one point I think we should definitely cover. Yeah, yeah. Interviews. Uh, um, for example, uh, a lot of our staff have gone to candidates and said, well look, we've got an interview for you at this time. Oh yeah, well I can't make it. Well hang on, are you really serious about getting a job? Yeah. Try, have a bit of flexibility, a bit of give, you know, a bit of take, right? You know, you asked me at the start, how did I get into recruitment? Well it was basically, or how did I get into recruitment and job boards? Um, it was the agent that found me that interview, I was actually wasn't yeah. going to go. And I was thinking, you know what, no, it's not really right. I'm a bit busy that day. I want to go for dinner. Um, and I was saying, no, she really pushed me. And she said, look, what have you got to lose? You're going to yeah. be in London anyway. Go for the interview and see what happens. And she really, you know, she convinced me. I went for the interview. Two hours later, I came out. They made me an offer. And I was like, give me 5K more. Uh, she called <laughs> them back. And they said, all right, go on then. <laughs> and I was there from the following Monday. Amazing, really? just out of university. And that's why we always suggest go on as many interviews as you can. Yes. Why not? You're making a huge decision. So the more people you meet, the more companies you interview with, the more variety that you have, you then know what you like. You make How do you know if you like Thai food unless you've tried Thai? Yeah, you make a more educated decision. And secondly, mm -hmm. you really upgrade your interview skills. You know, any yep. of us that you got basically goes. And the third thing is job boards, how to use job boards. You know, you've got your job boards like CV Library, Total Jobs, you know. Uh, Don't forget Apply For You. Apply For, <laughs> apply for You, award winning, might I add. You know, a bit of a plug. Yeah. Um, a register, you know, mm -hmm. uh, especially with us, you can get your profile pre screened so everyone will get to see it as well. Mm -hmm. So, just on that note, guys, you know, if you've already, uh, step one was know yourself. Step two, how to find a job. Follow mm -hmm. these two steps and the other two steps that we're going to tell you about in the following episodes. And you know what? You will end up with a job that's not just the best job, mm -hmm. but a job that's right for you. 
Thank you once again for uh, spending this time with us. It's been a pleasure and we'll see you next episode. Thank you.